Hello and welcome to Video Revealed. I'm Colin Smith. I've got a request from someone who asked how to make guava juice thumbnails. So I had to go find out what guava juice thumbnails were. And this is going to show you how to make that not only in thumbnail, but in video too. All right, after I went and looked at the thumbnails, it actually looks pretty simple. It's a white stroke and a drop shadow in Photoshop. The big thing here, as always, is transparency. You have to get transparency to get a stroke on the outside to get a shadow on the outside of that. So we're gonna make it in, in Photoshop and then I'll show you how to make it with video. Okay, so I've got this image on top and I've got an image in the background. And I've already created a, uh, a mask in here uh, just for expediency, but I'll just show you really quick. I'll, I'll take this and uh, we'll get rid of the mask. And let's turn everything else off. And we have to get rid of this background. So something this complex, um, the best thing to do is to use the quick selection tool, not the magic wand. You need to make a selection of what you want to keep. So you basically start to draw over this area of the stuff you want to keep. And anything you don't want to keep, hold the Alt key on Windows Option on Mac and start to remove it out of there. So this is a you know, typical Photoshop style transparency work where you've got to get this stuff removed. You can see the color of the pants and the color of that background are very similar. Um, so I'm just making a selection in that area right now. This is a really hard selection because there's so many similar colors in the foreground and the background, but um, we shall continue. I'll show you how to tweak this um, with a layer mask because this, this is really not the finest tool to work with, you need to take this a little bit further. So once you have that selection, all right, select the select and mask button at the top to take us into this interface here. And this interface will show, show us either as an onion skin or as marching ants, an overlay on black, on white, uh, on layers, and uh, on white seems to be the best one in here. And you can use the tools over on the left-hand side to change the selection, uh, select hair, and this is the same tool. Um, so if I hold the Alt key, option on Mac, I can go and make a cleaner selection in here. So remember this is just for a thumbnail so you don't have to kill yourself. Okay, so on the right hand side, I tend to choose a, a layer mask. By default, it's a selection. This is a real gotcha for a lot of people. By default, the only thing this will do will, will give you a selection and it won't remove the background. So if you choose layer mask, it will turn the selection into a layer mask and remove that for you. So click on layer mask, click OK, and now the background is removed. As I said, I've already done it down here. I've done a cleaner job, so I'll show you that one here. OK, so now that we've removed that background, we need to put a stroke down in here. If you just choose stroke, you can see there's our stroke on the outside, that white stroke. And you can change the size of that stroke. So as I'm moving that stroke up, down, it's going to follow that transparency. That's why it's a good job to do the correct kind of transparency right away. Make that as clean as possible. You have a layer mask, so watch this. I'll click OK. I'll select the layer mask itself and I'll get the brush tool. And if you've watched my other tutorials, I have a, a selection of keyboard shortcuts to always get the right brush. Get the brush tool and, and press B, D, X, zero. So B will actually get the brush tool. B, D will default the colors to black and white. X will put black in the front and zero on the top of the keyboard will set your opacity for that brush at 100%. It's the best way to get a tool to paint transparency. So B, D, X, zero. And you can see there's my brush. Now if I paint away, I'm gonna remove transparency, but I'm also going, 
I'm going to remove him and you'll notice that the stroke follows it along. If I hit the X key and go backwards, then I'll, I'll put that back so I can easily put that back or remove that area there. So the brush tool, X is going from white in the front to black in the front, so you're either painting in or painting out. I like this because I can quickly mask things out. So the next step would be to add a simple drop shadow. So that's also down in here in the drop shadow. And now when we turn that on, you can see the drop shadow. Uh, a little tip here is if you um, have this drop shadow open and you don't like working with these numbers, if you move the mouse into the uh, canvas window and move around, you can change the position of that drop shadow fairly easily. Click OK and there you go. The last step is what Guava Juice does is put a background in and then blur that. And I just used a, a blur gallery effect on here, so I'll remove that. and show you that in the filter, blur gallery, field blur, this looks more like realistic camera blur. I'll click OK to apply that. And that's the effect. There's our thumbnail. I mean, you can position him anywhere you want. You can um, also copy that layer style. So if we right click on here, you can copy that layer style and apply it to something else. You can even have a Photoshop file with a rectangle with this applied. So you always have that layer style sitting there that you can reuse. All right, so that's how you do it um, for a, a thumbnail of a still image. We wanna do it with video. Can't do this in Premiere Pro. You have to use After Effects, but let me show you how easy it is in After Effects. All right, so here we are in After Effects. We're going to do the same effect here with Haley, and we've got her brought in and a green screen put on her. So I've got a tutorial here to show you how to do green screen in um, After Effects. There she is. She's a comp on her own. We're going to drag her down and make another comp. So she's a comp in a comp. And I'll show you why we do that in a second. The background is transparent. That's just this button in here. You can turn on or off. I've got some Adobe stock that I'm going to drag into the background. And just like um, guava juice, let's do a camera lens blur on this, which is a little bit more accurate. I'll put that on the background and we'll turn up the blur and we'll also repeat the edges so it doesn't show like that. So now we've got that the background blurred. We'll select Haley in the foreground, go to the layer menu, layer styles, stroke. Oh, comes in as red, no problem. We'll open that up, click on this little guy here. Let's change it to white and make it larger. Next up would be the drop shadow. Back to the layer menu, layer styles, drop shadow. We do have to change this a little bit. Um, I'm going to turn this up to 100% first of all, just so we can see it and change the distance. So you can see there's the distance there. There's the position of where that is. It's not as, as intuitive as uh, Photoshop, but if you move these around, you'll, you'll change um, the overall position of that. Uh, wherever you want it. There's the spread and there's the size. So we blur that a little bit. And now we've got this video. I want to show you there is one issue and you'll see it right in there. Um, those little extra white things on the side that may show up anywhere are due to the fact that the green screen is letting a tiny bit of the pixel show through. Whenever you add a layer style in After Effects to a green screen uh, footage, it has to be 100% uh, transparent for this layer style not to show up. So if it shows up with one point transparency or one percentage, then you get the full layer style. So we can fix this by adding a little mask. So select Haley, get the rectangle tool, and drag this around the area. And you can see, you could use this as an effect too, where it's revealing her, and then drag it below that area there. So now we're removing that area in here. If the person is moving a lot, you'll have to uh, keyframe this larger mask. 
uh, it's basically a garbage mat that's going on. So that's the cool effect. That's how you do the guava juice thumbnail um, in After Effects to regular video. And I think that looks pretty cool. Let's just render that out. And there we go. Now you can see that the stroke and drop shadow follow her around as she turns her face and looks towards the camera. There you go. That's how you do the guava juice effect, um, not only for thumbnails, but also for video. Uh, hopefully you found this informative. If you're new to Video Revealed, um, then why don't you take a moment, please, and subscribe. If you want to support us a little more, join us over on Patreon for as little as one little dollar a month. Till next time, I'm Colin Smith, and it's my job to get you looking your best.